Hello guys, this is Paul and uh, in this video I will teach you a very famous song in the United States uh, that's called Yesterday Once More uh, It's uh, sung by uh, the band named Carpenters uh, Carpenters mean uh, those type of people who uh, works with the woods so um, they make wooden chairs, wooden tables, and I think they also make other kinds of furnitures with wood. Okay, so I don't really know why this band is named Carpenters, but that's not the point. The point is the today's song yesterday once more. So this song uh, is a little bit old-fashioned. Uh, not many young people know this song, uh, but this is a great song and it's, it will really help you to learn English. Okay, so the song starts with this. When I was young, I would listen to my radio. So it means, uh, it's simple, when I was young, I would listen to my radio. Okay, so this stands really for wood. Okay, so it means when I was a young child, I, my number one habit was to listen to the radio. And then, waiting for my favorite songs. Waiting for my favorite songs. Okay, so I was waiting all day uh, just to hear my favorite songs on the radio. And then finally, when they played, I would sing along. It made me smile. So when the when these good old songs played, I would sing along. Sing along means sing along means sing together. So it's just like a karaoke. Uh, the <coughs> radio is playing a song, and you also sing the song together with the radio. And finally, it made me smile. Made me smile is, it brings, it brought me a smile. It really caused me to smile. So, so the next part is, <clears throat> uh, it begins, these were such a happy times, not so long ago. So the singer is um, uh, remembering this, um, the time in her childhood, from her childhood, that she really loved those times. So she used this uh, such, uh, it's close to the word very, but um, it has this uh, kind of quality. So such a good friend means good, but there's, the other people are not good as you. You have this certain level of goodness in you. So that's the kind of meaning, such. So she remembers the times such that uh, she cannot find in in the other other times okay so it's it's hard to describe but we remember the happy times and not so long ago so she still uh, she feels this uh, time was uh, was not really long before but just a few uh, years back then how I wondered where they had gone. How I wondered is, uh, where did these good moments go? Where did the, all the songs disappear? So she was wondering where all of these songs had gone. And pay special attention to had. So these songs um, disappeared. They started, they stopped playing on the radios. And the singer really missed them. Okay, where did they go? I miss them. But, okay, but they're back again, just like a long lost friend. So, so to, to, the, to the song composer, these uh, songs are really good. So, really good like a friend. So sometimes, uh, especially, uh, for example, when I had when I had such a good friendship in high school, but I don't meet them anymore. 
So maybe now, um, when I walk in the street, I just suddenly see them. And I remember, I, I, I feel really good and happy because I'm meeting my old friend. So the singer is uh, describing that feeling, meeting your good old friend after many years of not meeting them. Okay? And all the songs I loved so well. She loved all of those good songs and she's really happy to, to listen to them again. Okay, so chorus, uh, it's uh, kind of my favorite part. And they sing Every sha la 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 Every wo wo Still shines Okay, so you may be wondering, okay, what is this uh, sha la la la? Uh, what is this wo wo? Uh, sorry uh, It's these are not the English words, uh, so uh, these are kind of uh, song parts. You now singers sing ooh sha la la la. So she means every part of the song, okay? Even the woo woo, even the sha la la la, still shines. So it's still bright, still so, uh, still uh, sounds so nice. And then every shinga, every shinga linga ling. That they are starting to sing is so fine. All right, so another shinga shinga linga ling uh, is just the all the parts of song. Okay, just like sha la 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 woo woo. So every bit of the song that they are singing is so fine. Uh, fine. Fine is not the. It's not only used. I'm fine, thank you, uh, how are you, I'm fine. It's got a kind of deeper meaning. It also means so aesthetic, so beautiful, that it's almost artistic, elegant. So this kind of word, this kind of meanings also contains in the word fine. Sometimes we can even describe a beautiful woman, she's a fine woman or a beautiful uh, painting, fine painting, okay? Uh, the first line, when they get to the part where he's breaking her heart, okay? So here, uh, pay special attention to this part, part where he's breaking her heart. And this is, we call it, uh, in the grammar, adjective clause. So. The song has so many parts, the beginning, nice parts, good parts, melodies. But when they get to the part, okay, the part where he's breaking her heart. So we're only talking about the, the part of the song that the, the guy is, the man is breaking uh, the woman's heart. Okay, so he's doing some, some bad thing to the woman and and her heart is just breaking. So she's feeling sad and down because of the man. So when the song reaches that sad part, bad part, it can really make me cry. So it just, when, I, when, the, when that part of the song plays, I just cry because of the song. So the song makes me cry. Just like before, so just like before means uh, I don't know. So the uh, this, the singer is uh, is listening to this song now, but she also listened to this song before. So before she listened to this sad part and she cried, but when she hears it again now, she still cries. The song brings the same emotion to her. And then it's yesterday once more. So now she feels like she has moved to that time in the past. So she feels like she is still, still uh, the child. So she feels like she has time traveled to the past, okay? Just in her mind. Okay, so this is a little interesting part. And I have to read a few lines to get the meaning across. So. Looking back on how it was in the years gone by, 
and the good times that I had makes today seem rather sad. So much has changed. Okay, so just describing, okay, so when I think about the years that had already that have already passed, so when I think of the years uh, gone by means that uh, went that passed already. Looking back on these uh, in these days that already um, it's gone away, and also and the and the good times that I had. So this looking back, looking back on on years gone by, and also the good times I had. Okay, so. She's thinking about these uh, happy, good old happy days that already passed. And also she's thinking about how much happiness she, she had had before. And these two combined. So comparing these past happy days with today, Today's looks kind of sad. Okay, compare compare to the past. Ha the past she was happy. Today, maybe not so happy compared to the the, the past uh, past time. So so much has changed. So so from this since those good old time, uh, it has changed so much that now it's not so good anymore. Okay, so let's see this part. Uh, so she sings, It was songs of love that I would sing to then. So she's saying, um, she was, she used to sing these uh, songs of love. Uh, okay, love songs, romantic songs that I would sing to them. So, I would sing to them was that time, in the past. The radio was playing the love songs and I would also play, I would also sing the, the love songs with the radio. So together, radio is her partner singing. And then I would memorize each word. So, she memorized each word. So here, the wood means she, it was her habit uh, that always she memorized the words. Um, those old melodies still sound so good to me. And uh, so here, on the old songs, so even though the songs were so old, it still sounded good to her. So she never got bored of those songs. So do you have the, those kind of songs? Uh, so this, uh, this song is one of my songs that never get old. So I don't uh, get bored of the song. It still sounds good to my ears. Finally, as they melt the years away, it was actually, uh, she used to listen to these love songs many years before. And now she's listening to them again. So it feels to her like um, when she listens to these songs, she forgets about the years. She is transported back to those happy childhood times and the present problems, sadness, all forgotten. She is totally in the music and uh, her age doesn't matter. So she feels like back again in, in those old times, like a child. Okay, guys, this is the last part of the song. Uh, so she's singing, All my best memories come back clearly to me. Okay, so she's still talking about the, the, if, the effects of this song that has earned her. So when she listens, to, when she sings, and listens to these old love songs, all of her old memories come back to her. So she remembers them clearly. 
And then some memories are so emotional that she, she cries now uh, when she listens to those songs with those memories. And this experience is just like before. So this, uh, she, she did that, she experienced that powerful emotion from the song and she even does now. So, and it's yesterday once more. So it's just like before. The song has had some magical effects uh, on her. Okay, so did you like this uh, song tutorial? And uh, it's a really nice song. And uh, maybe if you go to karaoke, sing this, uh, it's, now you know the meaning. And if you like this song, uh, press like. Uh, subscribe. If you don't like it, then tell me why in the comment section. So I'll, I'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.